Rare Lucent and the Lucent Heart from spawning enemy barrels, Thunder Bomb Balance, improved Q times, Shores of Gold exploit, and much more. As of today, the 15th opt in PvP in Sea of Thieves just got much better. And I'll show you what changed. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's start with the issues we struggled with before this update so we can understand what changed. Restocking supplies used to be tedious, especially if you are a fan of sinking. Each time you sink, especially if not respawned on an outpost, it's a time sink. Furthermore, it slowed down the pace at which one could jump back into a fight, making you feel demotivated, which led to longer queue times and sometimes signing out. Not to forget everyone's favorite blunderbomb spam that makes you feel like a barrage of grandma's chanclas flying at you at any moment, even while inside the hull in the bottom deck, which leads to other issues issues like back bailing and emotional damage. There's much more, so grab your Doritos and let's go. Ship supplies. Spawning on a new ship will have more supplies than usual. This applies to all ships spawning, not only our glass related PvP. So once you start a new session, you're already in nearly double the supplies. For the sloop, 80 cannonballs instead of 40, 35 planks instead of 15, and an additional 16 coconuts to the usual banana supply. Brigantine, 90 cannonballs instead of 45, 35 planks instead of 15, and 16 additional coconuts to the banana supply. Galleon, 90 cannonballs instead of 45, 40 planks instead of 15, and similar to both ships. 16 additional coconuts with 8 in each food barrel. With that also comes more exciting updates, ships that sink anywhere. Not only inside the PvP ring will spawn barrels representing all supplies they had on board. The excuse of spawn camping someone for half an hour just to take 8 coconuts is now obsolete. You want someone's supplies? Sink them. Make sure you have a storage crate on you at all times to make collecting supplies easier. Similar to skeleton ships, now floating player ship supplies also have seagulls above to represent the location where a ship sinks. And keep in mind, there is a 15 minute cooldown before despawning, in case you want to return to the place you sunk and redeem your supplies. This is significant quality improvement all over the adventure. Now let's say you sunk from opt-in PvP mode, which only applies to ships sunk inside the ring. Now you will always respawn in an outpost with all supply cooldowns reset, allowing you to top up your supplies again from the merchant and shipwright, then dive down as soon as possible, leading to much faster queue times due to less downtime. Speaking of buying supplies, a lot has changed there too. Buying throwables from the shipwright now provides 5 firebombs and 5 blunderbombs each instead of 10. And finding blunderbombs in barrels is now slightly less common, nerfing the overall presence of blunderbombs in any battle. With that, blunderbombs launched from cannons now have a smaller area of effect on players. It used to be 10 meters and now it's 5. And even if you are affected, the knockback strength is lower, similar to the knockback of a hand-thrown blunderbomb, so you are less likely to fly into no man's sky. Also, blunderbombs used to deal full damage to a player inside the hull when the ship is hit from the outside. However, now the hull dampens that damage, making you feel more protected when bailing and repairing. And speaking of a fair fight, if you did not know, or perhaps you were a victim, there was an exploit where you start a battle by spawning into the Red Sea. That hole has been plugged, stop it. Making the enemy ship unreachable. This was used by some to get easy wins. However, no more cheese. Naughty, naughty. You cannot do that anymore. Please subscribe. Happy sailing.